and that's just blowing my mind. So this is the official baby watch. It's the craziest thing. I have pregnancy amnesia. everybody thank you so much for joining me today for another pregnancy update I am currently 37 weeks pregnant right now I am in my 38th week and I'm having lots of pre-labor signs so I'm gonna tell you guys all about that throughout this vlog stay tuned I also wanted to point out that I just recently did a DIY make your own ball cover so that is gonna be on my channel as well check it out it's a easy carry handle ball cover. It's pretty, it's soft, it's aesthetically pleasing in your home. So if you have one of these really ugly exercise balls and you want to cover it up to make your living space more beautified, then check that out. It's super easy. It took me maybe 20 minutes to do it or less. Um, just had to go and pick out the fabric, which was the biggest challenge for me. Gosh, I go into the fabric store and I just get so overwhelmed. So if you guys are interested in how to do this, be sure to check out that really quick vlog and I explain it and I show you exactly what to do. It's really simple. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. And I have a basic sewing machine that I did it with. So yeah, check that out. If you all are new here, this is my channel, Rouse Rising. My name is Katie and I'm so glad that you are here with me. I love sharing my experiences with you guys. I am a holistic lifestyle and parenting vlogger. That is what my channel is about. And I try to share as much about my lifestyle as I can with you all. I'm also a birth and postpartum doula, a placenta encapsulation specialist, and a mom to four kids, soon to be five kids. My husband is in the military, so that has taken us to some exciting places. And right now we are living in the Pacific Northwest which we love so much. Be sure to check out the other vlogs on our channel. Post a comment down below with your questions and I will answer them happily. I'm pretty quick about doing that and I love to interact with you guys and communicate down in the comments. I think I should tell you guys about my 37th week of pregnancy and all the exciting things that are going on currently in my life this pregnant. For the past two weeks, I've been having regular bouts of Braxton Hicks contraction. They seem to be very regular and somewhat intense, not painful, and they aren't labor contractions, but something's going on. And I feel like my body is changing and switching over to gearing up for labor and birth. I can feel myself loosening up everywhere. I can feel my tissues expanding, and I believe I am already pretty well effaced. Recently, I started losing some of my mucus plug in the last few days or having bloody show. And there is a slight difference between like the mucus plug and the bloody show. I'm having kind of a combination of both. I'm not sure. And I honestly can't even remember if this is something that like when this started in all my other pregnancies, it's the craziest thing. I have pregnancy amnesia, I have birth amnesia, and I have postpartum amnesia where I cannot remember so many details. Here I am five babies in and I wish I would have kept a diary. But here we are, no diary for me to go back and recollect on to see when did I start to have signs of labor? When did my body start making the changes gearing up for labor? Because honestly with my last pregnancy I feel like even in my 42nd and 43rd week of pregnancy, um, I wasn't experiencing signs other than like frequent Braxton Hicks. Um, I maybe was losing a little bit of my mucus plug, but definitely I don't think it was happening by 37 weeks. I may be wrong. Um, I feel like I have so much softening and so much going on right now just with the rounds of Braxton Hicks that I've been having. So it makes me wonder but then again i know and i look online and a lot of women say within a week you know i lost my mucus plug and then within the week or within two days or within three days there's a few people that are like yeah i lost it three different times in my pregnancy and then there's people that say it came out bits and pieces which is happening to me there's no predicting labor it's impossible 
Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in other blogs, but my original plan was to order a birth pool with my birth kit so that I had everything ready by 37 weeks. I don't have one. So I went ahead and ordered one. I ordered the Oasis Oval Pool and it should be arriving today. If so, I will show it to you guys at the very end of this vlog. But as of right now, um, I don't have it in my possession. So our baby's birthdays have all been big mysteries. And every twinge that I feel, I'm like, is this labor? Is this it? Is this the beginning? So I'm also having a whole lot of pelvic floor lightning type sensations. And I feel like sometimes the baby's head ramming my pelvis and like twisting in there. So you feel these sudden shooting buzzy zappy sensations, baby hitting nerves, whatever. And it's them trying to engage a little bit more to settle down into the pelvis. And I think this is probably the earliest that I've experienced this because typically around this time, my babies are breech. And this baby has been um, head down for a couple of weeks now, which is the craziest thing to me. And I had one day where it went transverse briefly. And then within that same day, it was back head down. But since then, it has been head down. And that's just blowing my mind. So I'm very thankful for that. I feel so relieved, but I also know that this baby could pop up and out of position at any time as well, because it's happened to me up to 42 weeks before where babies have been able to maneuver around and change their positions and get out of my pelvis. And so it's always a mental challenge at the end of pregnancy for me. Am I going to have a breech birth? Am I going to have a vertex baby at birth? And I actually feel like baby's head is pretty low. That could be also like putting pressure on my cervix and causing it to face a little bit more, which could be pushing out some of the mucus plug and bloody show that I'm experiencing. Um, so all that's really exciting and promising, but you guys, we could still be weeks away. So this is the official baby watch. I'm going to give birth anytime. I've been nesting around the house like crazy. I made the birth ball cover. I've been cooking and cleaning. I organized my daughter's room. Eventually, both girls are going to be in that room together. Uh, so we just had to make space and rearrange the bed situation. It's like moving the bed around and repositioning everything in the room. Nothing too heavy, but probably not things I should be doing um, at this point. I've just been super busy nesting. I have to clean near constant and I'm on my feet moving around doing things all day long and I haven't really been wearing my compression socks because I'm not having the aching legs so bad but I am having a tiny bit of um just like fluid retention uh, my body's hanging on to the hydration it's hanging on so that my tissues can expand and so that's to be expected at the end of pregnancy excessive swelling like my fingers um Every day when I wake up, I have a pretty healthy whole foods diet. So my fingers, I don't wake up swollen. I am halfway through the day now and um, my rings are still loose. So I don't have a lot of swelling, but I do notice with my sock or anything that's a little bit restrictive at all, um, it puffs up around that. So that's easy for me to see and tell that my body's doing something that it doesn't do when I'm not pregnant. And I attribute that to dehydration of the body and getting ready, getting all my tissues expanding and opening. And you need hydration for that. You need elasticity. And for elasticity, you need hydration. So I'm drinking my third trimester pregnancy tea and drinking a lot of that every day. About a quart of pregnancy tea a day at this point. And you guys can check out that recipe. I uh, will link it down below in the description and it will pop up right here as well. I'm still taking my um, labor prep capsules. I am up to three capsules twice a day. I feel like, I mean, they're not like putting me into labor or anything. They're just preparing my body and nourishing me and getting me prepared for labor, right? Things I'm experiencing this week. I am having very loose stool and frequent, like a couple times a day, I'm just kind of like staying cleared out. So that is something I can't remember. Again, another thing I can't remember in my other pregnancies, if that happened at this time or later, because I, with 
three out of four I gave birth later. I did have a baby at the end of my 39th week. Um, and that was a one hour labor after 72 hours with my water broken. I had a really fast labor. I have a little bit of anxiety and I'm uneasy about the birth pool situation because I want a birth pool here because I know that I can pop a baby out in an hour. It's happened before and I don't feel like uh, I would be able to source one from the community if I had my first contraction. And with that baby that was born in an hour, my birth pool was already blown up and all my husband had to do was stick a hose in it and it filled up in like 20 minutes, enough for me to get in. And it worked out really well. So I was able to labor in there for a little bit of time, probably about a half hour or so before the baby was actually born. Laboring in water and birthing in water is the greatest thing I've ever done. I've labored on land. Um, I've birthed on land. And I can honestly say that when you put your body into the water, into deep water, it just takes off so much pressure. It just lifts your belly. It is... It's just, it feels amazing. It's a comfort measure that is non-negotiable with me. So that's why I wanna be prepared. I wanna have everything ready to go so that when labor happens, we're ready. And I don't really feel ready yet. I don't feel that ready. <laughs> Let's see. So loose stools, bloody show. My breasts have massively expanded. I'm actually uh, have milk in them now or colostrum or something. I mean, I've had it for a couple of weeks and now it's like, if I just touch, it's like some comes out, it's coming out really easily. So <laughs> TMI about that. Um, and I'm also a lot darker. I have lots more veins going on. I have really dark areolas at this point. They are very dark and that is so baby can locate and find them. And connect with them. In my last two vlogs, I talked about uh, my birth kit and I also talked about things that I do to prepare my body for natural birth and nat natural labor. So be sure that you are checking out those vlogs so that you can see how I've had easy breezy births the last three times. My first was a posterior baby. That was really challenging. My last three births were relatively straightforward and easy as far as giving birth goes. And I have all of their birth stories on my channel in my pregnancy, birth, and postpartum playlist. So check that out. But I am still experiencing heightened anxiety that I am working with, that I am dealing with. Um, I'm trying to manage. But uh, it's very difficult for me to manage my birthday anxiety. And it has been every single pregnancy. So I'm hoping that this time I can let go of some fear. I can let go of some anxiety. And I can relax into this birth and allow my body to do what it's supposed to do to open up and bring this baby earthside. I wish that I could get Aaron on here, but we don't have babysitters and we have a noisy house. And so a lot of times I have to vlog when he is occupying the kids or like today, for instance, he has the kids in town. It's easier for me to vlog when he has them. Uh, I can have like a conversation and a full thought, but still my head is in like 10 million places because I have checklists going on and things to do. So I'm a little scatterbrained, especially I feel like so far talking so far this vlog, I feel really scatterbrained and kind of flighty. I think that just comes with being so close to the end, you guys. We would really like to do a baby names we'd like vlog. I'd like to do some vlogs with him about his perspective on home birth, his experience with home birth, what it feels like to catch his own babies that kind of thing. Um, he has always been so amazing every single birth. He is my rock. And I think that he would have a lot of information to share with other men about supporting the woman in his life with uh, childbearing and everything. But we're both just feeling really empowered about this birth. And I think it would be great to be able to talk to you all and share that with you all and kind of talk to him about it. But again, we have lots of kids. <laughs> It's hard to get a moment that's not interrupted by children. Who knows, maybe we can have some quieter time when baby comes and things kind of slow down and he's off work. Uh, but right now he just worked seven days straight. Today's his only day off and then he works again the rest of the week. And so he took the kids into town to get their hair cut and to go get ice cream. And um, 
I said, while you do that, I'm gonna try to knock out some vlogs. I just got up to move around the house a little bit and um, do some things on the computer and I had to take a potty break and I had to do all the things that a pregnant woman has to do. I had to hydrate, I had to put on my chapstick because my lips have been chapped. And as I was sitting here at the computer, I didn't have my ball, but I was sitting there and the baby started just going crazy in my stomach. And I couldn't sit there for very long. I was having a lot of pressure. Um, so I got up and I walked around a little more, drank some more water. I'm sitting on the ball because this is probably what I'll be doing for the next however long I am pregnant. Just because it's what feels the best on my bottom and my sacrum, which I've ten, like been having some lower back pain. Which if you have seen some of my earlier vlogs, I might have talked about my history with my back injury when I was a teenager. What I've dealt with since then in the years that I raced motocross and snowboarded and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I was pretty hard on my body there for a while. I was wild and reckless as a teenager in early 20s something. And I didn't really settle down until after my husband and I got married. Up until I was pregnant, I was pretty rough on myself. Um, I did crash my dirt bike quite a few times. I did crash snowboarding quite a few times. I landed on my tailbone and just felt my back compressed. And so um, it took us a long time to figure out because I just kind of brushed it off. <clears throat> and yeah, I was in pain, but to me it was like, oh, I've just done something stupid. So I'm just going to ignore it. And it turns out, we found out like a year later, I herniated L4, L5, S1, the discs between those. I've had like residual issues with that since. Um, I do get sciatic. I do get the typical aches and pains and I probably don't talk about it much at all in my vlogs because to me it's just something that's constant and just a part of my life. Yes, I do suffer with tailbone pain and lower back pain in pregnancy and sitting on this ball really helps with that. It really helps to open up my pelvis and when I was walking around the house, I'm having a lot of round ligament pains and some pains in the tops of my thighs. And so um, everything's just really loosening up in my stomach. It's doing some crazy stuff. Baby's moving. Its feet are over here. Its back is here. It is head down. And it's just kicking and firing off and kneeing me and punching. And then there's like elbows down here where my belly button is. And it's really cool. My pants are really tight. They're normally not very tight, but for some reason right now they feel very tight. Yeah, so I, I guess like the end of pregnancy, for me, I don't think I'm in labor till like it really, really, really gets real. But I have lots of days where I feel like this. Ooh, ooh. This baby's going nuts. I don't know if I'll be able to see that, but... And we'll kick down here. I'm still blown away that people don't know that they're pregnant until they're in labor because I have really strong Braxton Hicks and they stopped me in my tracks. And I'm like, whoa! So I was reading, some women just don't experience that at all, ever. They don't get Braxton Hicks contractions, but I will have regular bouts of them for hours on end, but they aren't painful and they aren't really doing much until this past week, which now I think that they're doing something and everything that's been going on with that. So we'll see when this baby comes. Labor Watch 2021, February. I told, I joked and told my brother I was going to have this baby March 21st, so... If I stayed pregnant as long as I did with Annika or longer, um, it's possible this baby can be born as late as March 21st or as early as right now. And it's beginning of February. So what are we? February 8th? Did you get a mini pool and a mini... Uh... <gasps> Okay, so this is what we got. I have to take it out of the package for four days before we unwrap it from the. Oh, it's cool. 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 Oh, it's cool
Yep, the one on top is the liner, and the one on the bottom is the pool. It's right? Alcohol. Are you so excited? Yeah. I, didn't open it. I can't open it yet. We have to wait a few days. It has to warm up room temperature on the inside. We don't want to crack the vinyl. I bet it rain on it. Hey, I know what this is. It's from you. I'm both. So I'm headed to a um, chiropractic appointment, going to the chiropractor. Then I am going to find a air pump. We need a like portable, easy air pump to pump up the birth pool. So um, I found ours in the garage last night and it is one of those like air mattress pumps and it is completely dead done. It doesn't work anymore. So I'm gonna go to Walmart or Fred Meyers and find an air pump. Um, for the air mattresses like in their camping section and we can use them to pump up all kinds of stuff So like when summertime comes around and we want to pump up rafts for the lake or whatever we can use it for that, too um, But yeah to pump up the birth pool and then I just wanted to go over you guys um, I know you guys had asked me like how much weight I had gained on one of my last videos in the comments uh, And you asked like some other you wanted to know other like personal things like that So yes, I have gained 30 pounds like 32 pounds this pregnancy. Um, I was 5'7", almost 5'8". Got to throw that in there. Uh, 127 pounds, roundabout. And now I am still 5'7", and a hundred and like 59 pounds. So uh, yeah, I've gained 32 pounds, not a big deal. Um, and other than that, uh, and which is like the same amount that I've gained every single pregnancy and I have not hit 160 and I can't remember if I've ever weighed 160 before in any of my pregnancies, but, um, I think I usually top out like, like I did this. Um, I have been sick this week as far as not virus sick or anything. I've just had like nausea and dry heaving and very sick like that nausea stuff which is not fun this morning I woke up and I was dry heaving so on an empty stomach not fun but that's something that I experienced in my last pregnancy too was uh, the dry heave or the nausea in third trimester if that is all like gearing my body up my hormones are changing over and I'm getting ready for labor again this could be in the next day or six weeks so I don't have my hopes up. I don't have any expectations. You know, I've gone six more weeks from this point once before. I've gone five more weeks from this point. I don't hold anything to anything. Birth is a mystery. Chiropractor was good. I've been going every two weeks, but now I'm gonna go every week just because I think it's gonna help keep my pelvis aligned and help baby engage better. So, um, and I'm also gonna start being a little bit better about doing my spinning babies just to be, um, just to help baby, even though I feel like baby's super engaged. And I'm already feeling a lot of pressure from just going today. Um, I was out of alignment. I'm always out of alignment. It seems like I could probably go twice a week until everything gets used to staying aligned. But uh, it just feels good to get adjusted. And I'm not kidding. My pubis symphysis has been an all time minimal out of all five pregnancies. This is the least amount that I've ever had it, and maybe it'll kick in the last few weeks of pregnancy. Right now, um, with everything that I do and how I sleep, it has not been an issue. Um, occasionally, if I sit wrong, but it's a reminder, real quickly, hey, don't sit like that. Don't sit with your legs crossed. Don't sit with your hips twisted and your body turned one way. And um, You just really have to be symmetrical and make sure you're sitting straight and that you're sitting centered and that you're not getting out of alignment. Because once you start getting out of alignment with your posture, pubis symphysis is gonna kick in and it sucks. It is a biatch. And I'm so grateful that I have gotten this far and been so mindful that it hasn't affected me. So just a tip, uh, I wish that I had known this information and I wish that I had been more careful with my body and my other pregnancies. I wouldn't have suffered so much.
going to wrap this up right here. I just want to say thank you guys so much for joining me for my 37 week update. I hope it was informative and that maybe you learned something from my experience or maybe you're 37 weeks and you're going through the same thing but it's a really exciting time because it just nature keeps you guessing the baby keeps you guessing and your body keeps you guessing every day I'm on my toes so hopefully we will have a baby update sooner than later if you guys haven't already click the like button it's the thumbs up on this video and let us know that you care and also click subscribe so that you can stick around for all the fun things that we do and learning all about this holistic lifestyle and parenting, the approach that we have to these topics and how we do it all. Because now we're going to start all over with baby number five and I'm going to be taking you guys through the elimination communication journey and all of the things that we have used with all four of our previous babies. Um, we are going to be doing the same because it's what works for us in our parenting style. It's probably different from the next person in the neighbor. I just hope you guys stick around with us and until next time, have a good day. Bye. Have third trimester tea. It will travel.